Good evening, sci-fi movie nerds, and welcome to another episode of the Sci-Fi Movie Guy. My name is Mike, and this is Tim. Hello. And we're here to spoil the heck out of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So if you haven't seen this movie yet, turn it off, go back to my channel, watch the non-spoiler review, go see this movie, and then you can watch this. So it's Thursday night, but I'm not airing this till Friday, because Tim and I just got out of the movie, and Keith's over there, his dad went with us. Hey, say hi, Keith. Hey, movie nerds. <laughs> and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much break down this movie and all the little parts and the storylines that we liked. Um, but let's start with your idea, because I gave it a go. So must see, go, wait for video, no. I give this movie a go. You said you're going to rate it at a 10. I'm going to put it a 7.5 out of 10 and also give it a go, because it's not the best, but it's a really good movie. And... Uh, why don't we start with uh, what you had said about the trailers um, and how that affected the movie and you, you felt like it was a little misdirection. Well, on the trailers they have all the dinosaurs breaking out and going into the world, but that's exactly how the movie ends. Yeah, they, we saw in the trailer that uh, I think it was the raptor, he's up on the cliff and he sees all of the city, right? Yeah. And we think, that's... oh, he's going to be pounding through buildings and going through the city. and. No, that's how they end the movie. That's exactly how they end the movie. And uh, so it was a little bit of a thing. This movie actually opens up uh, right where Jurassic World almost leaves off. It's probably three months later. And so there's no humans left in Jurassic World Island. It's only the dinosaurs. And so basically John Hammond's uh, partner, the two guys who invented the dinosaurs in the first place, Hammond's dead, but his partner's alive, but he's very sick. And what happens is, is he wants to save the dinosaurs from the island. Now, why does he have to save them from the island? What's going on there? Well, there's this huge volcano set in the middle of the island. It's ready to explode, but all the dinosaurs, they're living things too. So they want to save the dinosaurs. Yeah, and uh, that's kind of where Claire comes into the picture, right? Because yeah. she's doing a save the dinosaurs group. And uh, so... The Hammond's partner contacts her, and then she contacts Chris Pratt's character. What's his name? Owen? Owen Grady. Owen Grady. So, and they get the team back together. And so now they're going to go out to the island, and they're going to save these dinosaurs. And so far, you're like, oh, this is pretty good, because they've got this other island that he bought. And this one's self-contained with no fences, and there's going to be no humans there. And they're going to move all the dinosaurs there and let them live out their natural lives. So you think it's going to be a great little story, open and closed, you know, save the whales kind of thing. But that's not what goes down, is it? They actually go kind of black market and sell all the dinosaurs. Yeah. And auction them off. It's a, it's it's pretty it's a pretty good twist, um, and the villains in this movie they, they're really believable um, because it's all about money. Um, they just want to sell them, make money, uh, betray the old guy. Um, so let's talk about once they capture these dinosaurs and they take them to this the house. Uh, they put them in the basement, and then what happens? Well, they go... So the auction. Yeah, after the auction, they go... And then Owen has this little dinosaur... What's it called? And it has the head piece. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know what it's called either, but it's kind of a battering ram dinosaur. Yeah. It's this tiny little dinosaur with this giant head. He goes and breaks them out, and then he goes into the auction and, like, destroys everybody and then they all run and then they leave this new dinosaur it's kind of a mix of a velociraptor and the indominus rex and what do the, they call it the indoraptor yeah indoraptor so this is the new dinosaur for this movie and they have that there but nobody's there and this guy he's like hmm, i'm gonna steal its teeth i don't yeah because he was making, making a necklace, necklace out of all these different dinosaurs and then he goes in and then the dinosaur kind of pranks him. He's like, yeah, I'm asleep. And then he eats him. And then the dinosaur breaks out because he leaves the cage door open. I don't know why. And then that's <laughs> where everything goes bad. Yeah, and, and from there, we... And I want to say with this movie, I loved the first hour of this movie. This movie had the makings of, I think, being better than Jurassic World. And then that second half, 
it, it got a little bit, uh, I don't want to say slow, because this movie was never slow. It were was you... action through yeah. the entire movie. Like, was there was no boring asleep. parts, were there? Nope. No. But it, it just seemed like it turned from an action sci-fi movie into almost maybe a thriller. Yeah. Where, it's... you know, they're hiding behind uh, hallways and getting into elevators and the dinosaurs are sneaking around the corner. and yeah. It became more of a thriller in the second half. Uh, are they going to get out? Are the dinosaurs going to eat them? And to me, that wasn't quite how I wanted this movie to go. Now, I, I know I'm not the guy writing the movie, and I should just sit back and enjoy it. But I think you agreed with me on that point, didn't you? Yes. The first hour was better the than the second hour, hour. Like, you think this is going to be a top-notch movie. But yeah, really, yeah. Really, it ended off so sudden. Like, Avengers Infinity War. I yeah. was sitting in the theater like, what? Yeah, and and they definitely set this movie up for a sequel, because um, they're all the dinosaurs are now. They say, okay, well, they're out in the world. We're now actually in a Jurassic world, and so we're gonna have to coexist with the dinosaurs. And then they just stop. It just dead stop. Like the part in the trailer, he's on top of the mountain. He looks down and sees the city and fades to black. Yeah. Uh, but let's let's get into a little bit more of the characters. So there was a new character in this movie, the little girl. Yeah. And uh, this little girl was the guy who invented the dinosaur's granddaughter, or so we think. Uh, but she's yeah. actually a clone of his daughter, yeah. right? So, yeah. <laughs> so they take the DNA. When, when his daughter died, he took her DNA and he cloned her. So throughout the whole movie, we think it's a granddaughter. And she hooks up with Claire and Owen. And she really has, she's a really good young actress. And the three of them together, they navigate through the house. They get all the dinosaurs out. And then while the dinosaurs are down in the basement, they release this toxic gas by accident with the bullets. Oh, yeah. And then they think, well, should we let the dinosaurs out? But if they do, then they'll go yeah. all through the world. And Claire's sitting there, and she's got the button. And she has the button, then she's like, okay, they're living things too. But she doesn't do it. And then the girl, she's like, they're living things. And then she opens up the button and presses it. And then all the dinosaurs leave. And, yeah. And, and then they end the movie. And on their way out, they eat all the bad guys, which I thought was oh, yeah. pretty funny. Yeah, like in the scene where... Um, Owen goes under the car in the first Jurassic World. Remember that? When he, like, oh, yeah. gets the gas. Well, they kind of had that, but it didn't really work out. It, yeah, it didn't work just out flipped for over the car. <laughs> and he ate him. Yeah. Well, actually, I think the two fought and ripped him in half, didn't yeah. they? Like uh, in Jurassic Park, too. Yeah. They had, like, so many similarities in the older ones. It's cool. So, now. I love Jurassic Park, the very first one. It's my favorite. Uh, and then Jurassic World is uh, probably my second favorite, and this one's my third. But uh, you were saying a little differently. All those that he just said are the same yeah, he for me. Yeah, he likes all three of those the same. And uh, one of the things that uh, you guys were asking me is, well, Mike, you know, you're an old guy. So are you really going to be able to give me the same kind of feedback if I'm a younger person watching this movie? So Tim's on here to tell you, he thinks these movies are great. You came out of there and said, oh, I was super excited and happy, right? Yeah. And, uh, but for me, I, I, I don't think this was the best by far. Now, I think it was better than Jurassic Park 2 and 3. Do you agree yeah. with that? 2 and 3 are kind of the same also on my level. Well, I kind of like 3 a little bit more than Jurassic Park 2. I don't, it's just better on my scale. Yeah. So that's our spoiler review. Anything about, else about the movie that you want to tell them well, about the CGI, before we let it go? The CGI is excellent, just so you know. Yeah, and like you said, you give it a go. This movie has to be seen in the theater, doesn't it? Yeah. Like you wouldn't want to wait and watch it on TV at home because it you was. Watch it on TV. It's just not as good. Yeah, it's you're not you're gonna miss a lot of the cool action and CGI. Um, so yeah. We, I give, we both give this a go, and he gives it a 7.5. So you guys should get out there this weekend or next weekend and go see this movie in the theaters. Definitely worth your time. Stuff your face full of popcorn. Thanks a lot for being on the show today, Tim. Thank you for inviting me. My pleasure. And uh, remember, everybody, if you want to send me an email, go to movieguysci-fi at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook at movieguysci-fi. 
And remember everybody, nerds rule the world.